golden jubilee greetings to you all. As we approach the month of May, our jubilee month, this occasion represents the official launch of the golden jubilee activities in the United Kingdom, what we call Diana Gold 2016. Today, we are particularly honored to have Guyanese from all walks of life. But first and foremost, I would like to welcome and to recognize our trailblazers. Guyanese who have witnessed the birth of our nation in 1966 and through their talents and achievements have carried a golden arrow ahead and given us a sense of pride throughout those years. Their prominent involvement in our Jubilee activities offer an excellent opportunity to reflect on the journey we've traveled, celebrate those achievements, and to inspire, inspire future generations. I introduce to you, to the wider Guyanese diaspora here in the UK, our recently appointed newly arrived High Commissioner, His Excellency, Amni Case. Welcome. <laughs> to have with us our special guest speaker, the Honorable Mr. Carl Greenwich, Vice President and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Guyana. Mr. Sir, we're delighted that you were able to have the opportunity To officially launch the Golden Jubilee celebrations here in the United Kingdom. We crack things along and move straight into our High Commissioner who will deliver his remarks. Your Excellency, I invite you to the podium. Guyanese own. 
I'm delighted to welcome you here this afternoon on the occasion of the launching of the uh, Golden Jubilee. As history has focused upon things that many countries have gone past. Uh, in the region and the Caribbean as a whole, we share the same common experience in terms of racism, the domination of the plantation, uh, plantation behavior, plantation practices on the population. The fact that the sugar economy, the sugar economy was so dominant in Guyana that bookers had a special role there. It was said that bookers were so important to Guyana that when bookers sneezed, Guyana caught a cold. Indeed, whilst many of us in Guyana spoke about BG as being British Guyana, others elsewhere who looked at the economy referred to it as bookers Guyana because it accounted for the bulk of employment, they determined decision-making, they contributed to political changes, political directions, where the taxes could be collected effectively, and so on. This was a country with one pole of growth. By the time you got to the 20s and 30s, of course, another had been added, and that is Bauxite. But in a way, Bauxite became a second plantation. It became a second plantation because it was very close. Unlike sugar, it was a high wage sector. It was a high wage sector, but it was a sort of an enclave. The impact of bauxite on the well being of the populace didn't spread. The major employees, the key employees, the skilled employees were all foreign Canadians or English and what have you. So the challenge that the new government faced was to try and ensure that the economics of the country changed, that you could diversify, produce a range of products, that decision making would not be dominated solely by sugar or by bookers manager, managers, and that employment and the best employment of, of opportunities would not be restricted to those who are Caucasian. As I said, this, um, as I already said, this is a very short uh, cultural program uh, which I hope you will participate in fully and become engaged in and enjoy.
in the Navy Yard, I was naked like a newborn, naked like a stone or a star. It was a cradle of blind days, wrapping in time, torn like the skin from the back of a slave. It was the aching floor in which I crept on my hands and knees, a searching the dust for a trace of a roof, the mark of a leaf, or the shape of a flower. It was always me walking with bare feet, meeting with strange faces like those in dreams of fever. When the whole world turns upside down and no one knows which is the sky or the land, which heart is his among the torn and wounded, which face is his among the strange and terrible, walking above, groaning between the winds. Again, a marvelous congratulations to the new government and we, everybody wishes them, all through Guyanese, wishes them well. Timber 